Don't settle for a contested jump shot. <laughs> Encouraging the Philly fans to stand up. They don't need any encouragement. Simmons. After not good possession, good shots and possession after that away from the ball. Once again, Young gives it up. Collins leads it for him. Yeah, see, you attack now, forced to help. This Atlanta team to me. He's found the vintage second round with his hometown team in the fourth quarter. Well, if you call to Williams, you need him to put the ball in the basket. He needed a spark plug to ignite this offense. It was basically doing it from everywhere on the court from behind the three-point line. That got his team He's back in the game, and Ben is out. Well, that fire starter is big in game two. Big possession right here, and it ends in a turnover, and Embiid fouls Lou Williams. You know, I'm going to say so Embiid inside and give it to him on the block. Hawks down six, Young with the ball, Bill Donner gets by on the screen, here he goes, and Young scores again! And this Atlanta Hawks march continues, a four-point game, 2.47 remaining. Carried in to be carried the heavy load in the second half. Remember, the Sixers scored just 18 points in the fourth quarter, 38 in the second half in game four. Back to Embiid, they clear it out. Shot clock gets laid, down to two. Embiid's got to go up and over Capella. Shot clock violation. And, and Tobias Harris brings his defender right into the line of footwork and offensive opportunity for Embiid. That's two possessions given up by the Sixers. And, they, and again, Atlanta right here to capitalize. These looks tell it all. Oh, yeah, Harris shaking his head. Doc Rivers, they can't believe it. They are stunned in this arena right now. Two possession game. Young the floater. And gets it to go. It's a two point game. 2 12 left in regulation. Ben Simmons is back in the game. Hawks choose not to foul. They had a chance prior to the two minute mark. Now you can't. And that's going to be Philly ball. Nine on the shot clock. Well, Trey Young, his points, even though he put up a lot, have been quiet early on, but it's been really loud the last three or four possessions. Sixers have been in the bonus since the seven and a half minute mark of his fourth quarter. Harris goes to work on Capella, pulls up just at the end of the clock, missed it. Gallinari the rebound. Wow. The Atlanta Hawks have a chance to tie or take the lead. They were down 26 at one point. Young directing traffic. He and Williams on the floor together. Young, I said with Thibel right now. Got him in the air and a foul. And Trey Young will go to the line. Three free throws coming for Young. We always talk about ability for players. How about high IQ and intelligence? Trey Young that time knew that Thibel would bite on the hesitation and the pump fake in which he did. What a comeback. This is unbelievable. Young will shoot three. Where well, the Hawks look dead in the water. Sixers had it all going their way. Embiid and Curry with big nights going. And suddenly, the Hawks have this game tied and one more free throw for Young and a chance to take the lead at the 126 mark. Atlanta is in front. Timeout, Doc Rivers. The Boo Birds are out in Philadelphia. The Hawks have come back from the dead here in game five. It is a one point Atlanta lead. It was 85 to 61 Philadelphia with two minutes left in the third quarter. They've outscored them 44 19. Embiid, down the drought, gives it up. Harris on the tape, leaves it for Embiid. It's been seven minutes for Embiid without a basket. That is denied. That was Collins. And he, he's going to be a, a foul on Harris. They're going to take a look at it. David Guthrie, the call on the floor was a push by Harris. Atlanta ball. 
immediately signals that he wants to go to the monitor. But I think he may have called that it was out of bounds first. Oh, on Harris. On Harris. The ruling on the floor is Atlanta basketball. See what I'm okay, so no foul, just out yep. of bounds. Touch last by but, Harris. But on that last, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to really look at that last play. If it did go off a of Collins or it looked like Harris, Harris. snuck a hand in there, but it's close. Yep. And it's uh, tough to tell there. You don't know if there's enough evidence to overturn. Uh, and they'll see it from the baseline view too, I believe. So, yeah, hit the hit the baseline for right. sure. Collins did save it. So it would have been whoever touched it last before hit that baseline. Huge call right yeah, here. Major. You see it again uh, one more time. How you think that you can get back into a game, the starter, so to speak. After you've been. Stands, it's Atlanta ball. Wow. Wow. It's uh, And Philly is kind of in bewilderment right now on what has just taken place, but now it's time to lock in defensively, get the stop you need. Atlanta for that pick and roll with Trey Young. Sticking with Young and Lou Williams in the backcourt, and he's got Gallinari, Collins, and Capella. With Gallinari at the three, it's been a successful lineup for him. Approaching the one minute mark, a monumental Atlanta comeback. One point lead. Gallinari has Curry on him. That's the matchup they want to exploit. Gallinari backs his way in. Now Williams, five along him, gives it right back. Late clock here, down to four. Gallinari, big shot for the Hawks. The lead is three for Atlanta. Curry for an answer. No, Williams a rebound. 39 seconds to go. 13-0 Atlanta run. They are shocked here at Wells Fargo Center. Gets by Simmons. Three-pointer on its way. Young missed it. Embiid with a rebound. Doc Rivers with a timeout. Uses his last timeout. Hawks with two timeouts remaining. Talk us through this Philadelphia possession here, Jimmy. It's real simple. See if you can get a quick two. Quick two, you set your defense. See if you can get a steal on the inbounds pass. If not, quick foul. Now, if you can dribble, drive, get a, the defense to suck you. The Sixers have missed their last seven field goal attempts. No made field goals since the 624 mark. That was Curry. Clock ticks. Here we go. Harris. Looking for help. Joella Bede. Sixers down three, and that's going to be a block inside on the Hawks. So Gallinari picks up the foul. Number four, Embiid will go to the line. Embiid. Actually, I still think this play took a little bit too much time, maybe a couple seconds. Atlanta with two timeouts remaining. And if he misses the free throw, this is unreal. A complete fourth quarter collapse by the 76ers. Embiid stuck on 37. To make it a two-point game. He missed both of them. Herder with a rebound, gets the timeout. The ball, up three, ten and change left. An incredible turn. Now it's Atlanta with the ball, up three. 10.2 seconds remaining. So Herder will put it in. And Young in the backcourt. Wow, dangerous pass. Thibel falls down, and Young is fouled. Herder has to understand if you can't get it in, I believe they still have one timeout left. You can't get it in. Don't force it over the top. Just to extend a run for Atlanta and make it a two possession game. And Trey Young puts him up for Young knocks them both down. He's got 39. It's a five point game. Philadelphia's got to go fast. Port Maz got a man in the air. He missed it. Clock ticks. Curry. That one's good. Point one on the clock. And this is going to be an Atlanta victory in game five. What a comeback. And what a collapse by the Sixers.